Hello Hawks and welcome to the 23-24 school year. We are really looking forward to a great year this year and we're excited that you'll be a part of it. I'm Mr. Davis, your principal, and beside me are our two assistant principals. Hey Golden Hawks, my name is Mrs. Udeshi and I'm thrilled to be back serving as your assistant principal. We welcome you back to campus for another year of fun, learning, and memory making. Hi Hawks, I am Mrs. Lloyd and I am thrilled to be your new assistant principal here at the greatest school on earth. We are going to have a fantastic year. So today our goal is to help you understand some of the rules related to being a student at El Dorado High School. We've got some slides to walk you through so you won't have to stare at us the whole time. We have some great teammates we'd like to introduce you to. First, we have our awesome counselors, Mrs. Armstrong, Mrs. Miller, Mrs. Davidson, and Mrs. Camposano. We also have an outstanding activities and athletic director. Mr. Camposano and Mr. Elliott are both here to serve you and make the best of your high school experience. We are extra fortunate to have two wellness specialists, Mr. Valdez and Ms. Romero. And then finally, our super friendly school resource officer, Officer Valdez. We really have a great team to work with, plus a great support staff that you'll get to meet during your time here. Now, let's have Mrs. Lloyd share a few details. On the screen, you should see the basic steps to clearing an absence. Your parent or guardian has some options, but any of them will work equally as well. It is important to note that there is a time limit, so please remind your parents to do this immediately and include your name, grade, and ID number if possible. Tardies are something to avoid. If you happen to start making them a habit, your teacher will be following this poster which should be also found in your classrooms. Last week, you got the introduction to PBIS. Just keep in mind that we expect you to be kind, responsible leaders all over campus. Also, ID cards are required in many instances around campus, checking out books or Chromebooks from the library, getting lunch, like Mr. Davis mentioned, and getting off campus. There are several different stickers you might need, senior lunch pass, off campus for athletics, or if you have a home period listed on your schedule. If any of these describe you, please stop by the office. If you don't have your ID, we cannot let you leave without verifying it. Did you know we have over 40 security cameras spread out all around the campus? The footage is kept for about a month and it's recorded 24 hours a day. Almost all of the cameras are outside, but we do have some in the main office. Signs are posted near every entrance, so anyone who comes onto campus is likely to be recorded. Electronic device policy. Cell phones, headphones, AirPods are not allowed at any time without explicit permission or instruction from your teacher. If electronic devices are used without teacher permission, the student will be sent to the office with a slip. The student will be required to turn in their electronic device to the office. The student will return to their classroom with a signed slip by the staff member confirming that the device was turned in. On a first offense, the student will be able to get their device back at the end of the school day. In cases where the student has multiple offenses, that's two or more, parents will have to come to the office to retrieve the student's device. Additional consequences, including detention, Saturday school may also result. Finally, let's talk about community service hours. PYLUSD has a community service requirement in order for you to graduate. You'll need 40 hours, except for seniors who only need 30 because of COVID. Please make sure you do your best community service with nonprofit organizations. Also, make sure that you fill out the form and submit it to the boxes outside the attendance office. Look for opportunities that fit your interests. That will make your community service experience more valuable to everyone involved. Let's talk about lunch, my favorite topic. We have the lunch line set up and they work pretty well. You can start in the line to the left if you wanna to go to one of the windows. But if you wanna go inside to one of the special lines like the sandwich or the hot meal line, then go to the lines on the right side. Either way, lunch is free. Please have your ID card out so they can scan it. Text a tip. See something, say something. If you see or hear something that doesn't seem to be quite right or are witness to any bullying, illegal activity anywhere on campus or any school activity, the text a tip number comes directly to campus administrators. While it is not anonymous, it is completely confidential. Let's talk about the red lines all over campus. 
Red lines are typically like stop signs. You should not cross over them at nutrition or lunchtime. The map shows where they are, but they are also painted on the ground. Parking on campus is a privilege, not a right. There is a small fee to get a permit, and these are only available through the finance office. Once you have your permit, you need to park in a legally marked spot. Students should not park in a staff spot. Finally, we do occasionally have the Placentia Police Department come and patrol the parking lot. If you don't have a parking permit on display, you will get a ticket. I can't fix your ticket, so don't bother asking. You'll have to take that up with the police department. Sorry. Dress code, everyone's favorite topic. It's important to think about place and time as you get ready for school. Think, is this school appropriate? While it's important to express your creativity and individual spirit through your clothing, here are a few guidelines. No tube tops, see-through clothing where undergarments are visible, lingerie, no saggy pants, no cookies or Playboy gear. That includes the Playboy Bunny. Clothing with weapons or drugs is also unacceptable. For more details, please refer to the dress code policy in your classrooms or online at our website. When addressing dress code concerns, administrators will make every effort to be res have respectful private conversations. You will be sent to the office and the dress code violation will be recorded in ARIES. Multiple offenses may require a meeting with school administration, student, and parent or guardian. Finally, let's talk about gates around campus. We have some gates that are for emergencies and they are clearly labeled. Please do not open these during the school day unless there is an actual emergency. The senior lunch gate in the lunch shelter is the only way students are allowed to leave campus during lunch. There will always be someone there checking ID cards and passes. So please have your ID out every day. If we see you returning from lunch late, you will lose the privilege of going off campus for lunch. So please be on time. All right, I think that about covers it for today. One of the three of us will be stopping by your second period class to pick up the yellow form. The form basically says that you've seen this presentation and you all have access to the full student handbook, which you can find anytime on edhs.org.